for having me. Thank you, hello. As Simon says, my name is, uh, Simon says, that's funny, I didn't even realise. <laughs> my name is uh, Tegan, I'm 26 years old, and I feel like some of life's important lessons are finally beginning to sink in, you know? Like the other day, I realised that if you're in a public toilet, right, and the person in the cubicle next to you accidentally farts, and then you laugh, <laughs> they never come out. <laughs> Have you noticed this? They just stay in there. And I think this has been happening for a while. Like, I don't think that ex-Australian Prime Minister Harold Holt drowned <laughs> off the coast. No, no, no. I think that somebody caught him shitting in the bushes and he's been hiding ever since. <laughs> That's what I think. What other life lessons have I learned? Oh, here's a big life lesson for me. I've realised that I have a stupid childish sense of humour, if you hadn't already picked up on that. <laughs> to give you an idea of where I'm at, I've had to stop reading a lot of Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes novels because he likes using the word ejaculated. <laughs> and I can't handle that. I can't handle it. Like every second line, it's like, my dear Holmes, Watson ejaculated. What? <laughs> This is a direct passage from the book, directly from the book, okay? At one point, Watson ejaculates with wonder on a rug. <laughs> just, just say he had a thought, you know? Just say, Watson had a thought. I get it. We all get it. We're all on the same page. And those pages aren't sticking together. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, uh, I recently got a boyfriend. I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you for wooing and not thinking that was a joke. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate it. It's been hard, though. Honestly, it was hard to find just a nice, normal guy. It's, guy, it's, you know, it's hard these days. In between the nerds, the gamers, the hipsters, and those guys that wear the shirts that come all the way down there. What do we call those guys? Oh, wankers. That's right. It's been hard. But no, I have this boyfriend, and he's lovely. I'm just not sure that we're entirely compatible. Do you know what I mean? Like the other day, I'd had a really bad day, so I was sulking on the couch because I'm an adult and that's what you do, right? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and my boyfriend came home and he'd picked up this big box of chocolates from Coco Black and he'd also bought Pride and Prejudice from JB Hi-Fi, which is, that's lovely, right? That's lovely. The only problem was he didn't actually think that I was going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all that stuff was for him. <laughs> He's a sensitive soul, you know, and that's fine, but... Whereas he blogs about fashion, I write about sports, okay? Which is the truth. I write about sports. I know I don't look like a very sporty person. I know, I know. I tried to change that at the end of last year. I cut my hair really short. I thought that would harden up my look. Didn't work, though. Um, according to my mother, I now look like a trendy five-year-old boy. <laughs> you laugh too hard. You hurt my feelings just then. <laughs> But no, I, I do, I love sport. Here's a fun little sport fact for you. Did you know that our pole dancing is actually trying to rebrand itself as pole sports and become an Olympic event? Did you guys know that this is actually a thing, right? It's going to be the first Olympic event in the history of mankind where you get points depending on how hard things are for the spectators as well as the athletes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> As I said, I've got this lovely boyfriend. He's very lovely, but he is sensitive. He's afraid of moths. <laughs> he's afraid of moths. So he's been going around killing all the moths. And the other night, I'd had enough of it. So I was like, stop killing the moths. And I got this moth and I put it outside. And this is the sentence. This is the exact sentence that came out of his mouth and hit me in the face. He said these exact words. Why do you always take the moth side? <laughs> Oh, gosh. It's because I have more respect for the moth than you. Yeah. Uh, had a boyfriend until that moment. Uh, I'll finish up with this. I'm 26, as I said. I didn't think that was old. I didn't think that was old until last week some high school kid, some youth, some youth gave me shit. <laughs> because I told him that when I was in high school, I used to do computer lessons. Yes, back in the day before kids were tweeting from the womb. <laughs> About to break my mum's water, hashtag suede shoes, hashtag lol. <laughs> but I did. I, I, I used to do computer lessons when I was in high school. Or at least I'd pretend I was doing computer lessons. Instead, I spent most of my time on MSN chat. Do we have any chatters in at home? All right. You might remember that whenever you started a conversation on MSN chat, you always had to start by asking people for their ASL. Do you remember that? Yes, a few people remember this. Great. Which was asking for their age, sex and location. And I remember thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to tell people that I'm really old, that I'm like 20 or something. <laughs> because old people are cool and that way guys online are going to want to talk to me. <laughs> but it turns out that never happened. And the only time guys online did want to talk to me was when I rightfully pointed out that I was a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> which taught me a very important lesson about the internet, and that is that people just value honesty. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.